The Steve Biko Academic Hospital acting CEO says its oncology ward is not in crisis. Reports emerged recently about the 934 patients, uh, cancer patients rather, that are waiting for radiation treatment there. We believe that we are providing first class comprehensive cancer. Yes, cancer treatment. We took uh, uh, we took the team around to see it happening. They do indeed found patients that are being treated, and all four of our radiation machines are working, plus one that we called brachytherapy. And we are installing now a new machine, high end, that is, we are still building a bunker because these machines are getting housed in a bunker. And then that machine is already in the country. Of course, most of uh, these uh, big medical equipments get uh, uh, shipped from overseas. We don't have them around, but the machine is already has arrived. As soon as the bunker is completed, the machine will be installed. And then uh, we are expecting more progress in that uh, regard. Well, earlier today, the South African Human Rights Commission in Gauteng visited the hospital. The commission's Gauteng provincial manager, Bwang Jones, joins us now. Good evening, Mr. Jones. Thanks very much um, for coming through. What's, what prompted the visit in the first place? Well, the visit was prompted by media reports alleging that the oncology facility at the Steve Biko Academic Hospital was in dire straits and that patients are not receiving adequate treatment that they, were, they, they had to endure lengthy waiting periods at the hospital. So you conducted this site inspection today um, at the hospital, and what did you find? Yes, today we conducted a site inspection to test the correctness of these allegations. And we, the, from the information that we were able to glean from this investigation, we are satisfied that the uh, hospital is providing um, cancer treatment to patients of course, there are other concerns that we picked up, uh, like wait, uh, lengthy waiting periods. Uh, but we noted that there are developments, um, for example, the building of a bunker to, 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 to set up the new ma machine that will expedite the provision of health uh, healthcare at the hospital. So from what uh, you uh, managed to ascertain today, um, the allegations well except for the waiting periods. And so the yeah. other raft of allegations that were made were in fact not true. Yes, some allegations were not true, uh, but we are still going to make a follow-up with the hospital. We have requested them to furnish us with their uh, maintenance reports. We've also requested them to furnish us with their vacancy rates reports because they, they, there were allegations that there is staff shortage. And we were able to hear today from some of the staff members that they are uh, overworked, they, they, there's a heavy workload on them, and that there's a lack of um, qualified um, Staff, staff members um, at the hospital. Uh, in fact, the hospital has had to uh, recall a, a retired uh, head to, to continue uh, working at the hospital because of the shortage of skills. But the hospital, the oncology uh, uh, um, uh, ward itself is not in ICU, excuse the pun. It is not in ICU, but the health system in Gauteng is on the verge of collapse. Why do you say that? Well, we visited other hospitals like the Tembisa Hospital where patients slept on the floor. We've also uh, visited the George Mokari Hospital. On Thursday, we'll be visiting the Charlotte McClake Hospital as well to uh, find out what are the causes of the lamentable state of hospitals in Gauteng. And the, all these things are not only isolated to Gauteng, but there has been a challenge countrywide um, in, in terms of health provision. Yeah. Now, from, from, from what you've been able to see, just we're talking about Tembisa now. Yes. Um, why? What are the nurses, what are the doctors telling you are the reasons why um, the situation is, is as bad as you saw it? Well, the first one is planning, uh, lack of proper planning, um, poor resource allocation, uh, insufficient training of staff members. In Temiza, for example, there is high absenteeism rate. Um, they've had to um, request uh, 
support, additional support from the provincial government, the centralization uh, and moratorium on positions. So the, all positions in the, in the province are now centralized and there is a moratorium on filling of positions. And this has resulted in some of these challenges. We have also noted that the Department of Health and Houting uh, is uh, facing financial challenges and some of this stem from uh, deficiencies in procurement, um, medical legal claims against the department and uh, sheer maladministration which was demonstrated by the Life ACT Mini Saga. Would it be fair to say the problems are largely um, managerial, in other words it's how the people who are supposed to be in charge are managing the resources they have at their, at their disposal? Absolutely, the problem is political and managerial leadership. When you say political, you mean what exactly? Well, we mean those that are entrusted with providing political oversight over uh, the hospitals and, and the departments. We've seen the, there's been a, a, an instability at the Department of Health for quite some time now. And we are yet to see uh, proactive steps being taken by the Houghton Premier to address some of these challenges that are plaguing the health sector. Have you spoken to uh, the politician in charge here in the province, Dr. Gwen Ramkopa, just to get her sense um, of what she thinks is going on at Tembisa and at uh, Steve Biko Hospital? We are engaging on a continuous basis with all the relevant role players. In fact, tomorrow our chairperson, Professor Bongani Majola, will be meeting with the health minister to register some of our concerns and to find solutions. In fact, soon we'll also be calling um, for a national dialogue to look at the impact of protest action on access to health care and the, the general state of our uh, health facilities in the country. Well, you've been frank about how mm -hmm. you feel, uh, saying that uh, you're not taking the violation of access to health care uh, uh, services very, very lightly. So what will you be doing with those, of course, that uh, flout the rules, that do not do their work? Of course, the Constitution enjoins us with uh, powers to um, litigate against the state, to mediate, negotiate and conciliate, and also to issue findings. So we, 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 we will utilize our powers and also work with the government to find uh, lasting solutions to uh, the, the health uh, situation in, in South Africa at the moment. Mr. Jones, thank you very much for coming through. He is, of course, from the Gauteng uh, Human Provincial Office of uh, the South African Human Rights Commission.